see you. You want Um, yes, I, th I think it's normal. I think if you're the away manager and um, you know, coming here is always, irrespective of the form that they're in, it's always a very difficult place to, to come. And I think to to come away with with a draw, and I think in, in a performance, and, and I must admit, I I thought over the 90 minutes, I thought we were the better side over the 90 minutes. Um, but there's always that threat, but and and we needed in particular. Um, particular one save, uh, we needed Matty Ryan to make a, a very good save for us. Do you think both these teams will stay up? Your team, both teams will, are capable of staying up? Um, yes, I think both teams are both teams are capable. Um, from you know, from you know, from what I've seen so far. Um, but you know, the the hard part is, you know, is doing it again. You know, through to the end of the season because, you know, what. Generally, tends to happen is the the teams that the teams the, the mainstays of this division that are, that haven't had a, a great first half of the season, you know, generally get stronger as the season goes on. So you know, teams like you, you know, obviously Everton got away obviously a little while ago, but you you know your West Ham's are down the bottom. You always expect, expect that they're going to get away. So um, so I hope so. Yes. Yeah. Rafa, when he when he talks about his team, he says team, teams like you and Woodsby, the core has been together for quite a while, and you've added to that and worked together for several seasons. Do, do you think that's been an advantage to you? Um, yes. Yeah, I think that, that we, we we've certainly um, in my time there, I think we we've progressed in each in each window. Um, I think it was it was probably the first window um, when I was there the summer that we brought in the most amount of players because of the position that the club was in. But I think we've 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 added well, I think through um, the windows. Um, but we're playing in a league that um, is an awful lot harder. And um, you know some some things that we would have got away with last season, you can't get away with this season. Chris, your take on that? Because that would be three points for your sake. Yeah, yeah. But but uh, I think you also look at it that um, yeah, it's. It, uh, uh, I, th I think we were the better side over the, the 90 minutes. So yes, it could have been three points. So disappointed at that, but it, but also, you know, these are a good side irrespective of, of anything. And you know, a, w a worse feeling would have been coming away from here with the, you know the, maybe the one good chance that they have, and uh, we come away with a defeat. That would have been the worst feeling because we certainly wouldn't have uh, deserved that. But um, yeah, and I think on the balance of play, I thought we were the better side, but. Probably it just shows where both teams are at the moment. Not not many chances, clear cut chances, um, and probably a little indication of where we both are at the moment. Sorry, I'll just wrap as well. How, how hard is it to keep a new and drawn team up in the Premier League in the first season? Oh, it's tough, um, and 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 it's only tough because of the levels. Every every game, um, you've got to play at a level, and and I thought we played at a good level today, and. If we if we played anything less than that today, then then generally you're going to get beat. You might have a fortunate day in front of goal, but but generally you're going to get beat. And um, uh, you know when when you see some of the results and you, you've managed to stay in games, you know just say for instance, you know we we got to Chelsea um, uh, midweek, um, lose two nil, and they're the type of games that can be five or six. You know that's that's. The difference in in you know levels of performance and what you can can get away with and what you now can't get away with, um, but the level of performance I say has to be you know at at that level to get us any points that we that we can get. Yes, I think um, Lewis Dunk was was the only one that um, that I think got a whack, um, but I'm I'm sure he's a very tough individual. I'm quite sure that he'll be okay. And and the decisions now will just be a. About assessing them in the morning and um, making the decisions, of course, on a, a team for Monday, um, especially as we we play the early one Monday, which means, of course, less time uh, recovery. How, how difficult is it to go through games in seven days? Isn't it? Oh, it's tough. Yes, and and um, but but every, well, almost everybody has to has to do it. So so no complaints. Um, I don't think we should have to. I think in this. 
in this uh, uh, series of games you have over uh, this Christmas period, you, you're playing four games in nine days, um, but that also means, you know, for your supporters that travel, you know, four games in nine days as well. And, and uh, what I do think they should do is take one of these games out, you know, and I just think it, it makes it less congestive, you know, the quality of football, you know, when, you, when, you, when you've got to play on a Saturday and a Monday, it, it, it certainly does affect, you know, the quality of football, you know, <coughs> over such a short period of time. Sorry. Yes, I must admit I, I haven't seen the one. one to one. Okay, I must admit I haven't seen the other results. I normally um, leave it a little while before I, I find out. Yeah, but but um, ultimately it's uh, as I said the teams, the teams that um, that have had you know, tough periods or in uh, uh, the first half of the season where they've not been so good, you know they are going to pick up some good results and. Um, and what you have to be able to do is you have to better look after your, your own results because if you continue to look at other results, then you'll end up being disappointed most weeks. Good. You're doing a Monday.